What's up everyone, I'm Robbie Deltz and this is a brand new video for Funko Pop Monthly. In today's video I'll be listing off my top 10 Funko Pops for the month of February, for the month of March, and for the month of April. I know I'm a little bit behind and I haven't done a video since January so I apologize for the delay. But I have my list ready and before we get started make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell beside to be notified of when future content like this video gets released. But anyways, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I will be listing off my top 10 Funko Pops for the months of February, March, and April. And I will be starting off with number 10 for February and then moving on to my number 10 for March and then on to April and then so on and so forth until we get to number 1. So, kicking off with the number 10 on my February list, it is the Bushfire Heroes Pop, and honestly, this is very detailed. I do like the fact that all proceeds went to helping a good cause, and honestly, um, kind of kicking myself for not ordering this pop, or at least getting my friend from a Funko Podcast to order one for me and me paying him back. Um, but anyways, again, I think this is very detailed and I had to make it in my top 10 list for February. Now moving on to my number 10 for March, and it is the Funko Shop exclusive Happy Gilmore. Now, uh, it was a bit tricky to make a top 10 list for, um, February and even March, um, but mainly March, and honestly, there weren't many decent reveals in March, in my opinion, or I should say announcements. Um, so, when I look back at the month of March, um, I feel like I put Happy Gilmore in a good spot. Um, I do like the Happy Gilmore movie. I like, you know, Adam Sandler as an actor. Uh, great movie. Great pop. And let's move on to my number 10 for the month of April. And listing number 10 for the month of of April. It is the Walmart exclusive Scooby-Doo. This is part of the new uh, wave of Scooby-Doo pops technically for the new movie Scoob. Um, honestly, I think this is a cute looking pop and you know, I grew up watching Scooby-Doo. Um, it's a great character and I'm glad that Funko uh, started to make Scooby-Doo pops. Um, when they did, obviously. And this is a pretty decent looking pop. I mean, it kind of looks like pretty much all of the Scooby-Doo pops, but it had to make it into my top 10 list because of the fact that it kind of has that personal reaction, obviously, from me growing up and watching Scooby-Doo. So now we'll move on to number nine for the month of February. And it is the Emerald City Comic Con Glow in the Dark Perfect Cell from Dragon Ball Z. And uh, again, honestly, the detail on this pop is amazing. My friend Dylan from a Funko Popcast has this pop in his collection. And the glow on this pop is amazing. Honestly, there's not much more I could say about it. Very detailed, and it had to make it into my top 10 list. Um, basically, just on detail alone and the fact that the glow on this is like I said amazing moving on to number nine for the month of March and it is the Billy Madison Funko Shop exclusive pop um, this was also announced at, with the Happy Gilmore um, I feel that uh, I like the movie Billy Madison a bit more um, it's a bit funnier and this pop definitely personifies Billy Madison. Moving on to number nine for the month of April. It is the Funko Shop exclusive Ozzy the Koala Bear for the pop around the world lineup. 
and uh, this is amazing. I do like this pop, and if I had the chance to get it and add it to my collection, I definitely would. Um, there's not many of the Around the World pops that I do really like, so I feel like this pop definitely deserved to make it into my top 10 list for April and uh, again very detailed um, besides this and I think one other pop that made it into one of my top 10 lists um, I'll get into that a bit later but Ozzy makes it in at number 9 for April Moving on to number eight, we'll start with February. Again, number eight is the specialty series and New York Toy Fair reveal of Dwight as Dark Lord from The Office. Uh, this was a pretty decent pop in my opinion. I feel that um, the looks on this pop, very detailed. I do like the character of Dwight as Dark Lord. Um, I mean, Dwight is a very funny character in the office and uh, one of the most memorable so um, especially this character uh, I do like it and again like I said with a few pops already in this list if I had the chance to get it I would moving on to number eight for the month of March and it is the WonderCon slash Target exclusive Futura Boba Fett. It is the red Boba Fett with basically like the black details on it. Um, very detailed. I do like this pop. Um, I haven't watched any of the Star Wars movies. Well, technically that's a lie. I've watched half an hour of the uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Um, maybe I'll try and rewatch it and hopefully watch the whole thing next time. But um, this pop is very detailed, like I mentioned with the other pops in my list. Uh, I don't think I'd be getting this pop, but again, it's a very good looking pop. And that's why I made it into my top 10 list. And finally, moving on to number 8 for the month of April. And it is the Target exclusive of the child from The Mandalorian, but this is the concerned look on the child, um, or Baby Yoda if you want to call it that. Um, it's called the child though. Uh, this one does look uh, very nice, and of course the concerned look on the child. I had to go with this one over the other um, variants of the child. Again, I don't think I will be getting this pop, but it's got some hype to it, so that's why it made it into my top 10 list. Moving on to number 7, we'll start again with February. For this, I chose the New York Toy Fair reveal and Hot Topic exclusive, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Now, this pop is very detailed. Um, a lot and I definitely think Funko basically knocked it out of the park with this pop one of my favorite Egyptian gods from the Yu-Gi-Oh series um, I mean obviously I do like all three of the Egyptian gods uh, Funko only announced two as a part of the new wave and that would be like I said Slifer and of course the GameStop slash EB Games exclusive Obelisk the Tormentor um, however Slifer made it into my list and um, if I had to basically rank my top three Egyptian gods, it would be Slifer at number one. I think Winged Dragon of Ra probably at number two. And then, of course, rounding it off at number three would be Obelisk the Tormentor. However, um, this isn't about the other two. Uh, I feel like I made the right call of putting Slifer at number seven. With the pops coming higher on the list, uh, they have a bit more detail and more personal reactions. So, that's why I put Slifer at number 7. Moving on to my number 7 for the month of March. And it is the Funko Shop exclusive of Finley from the Pop Around the Worlds line. Again, this one is for Ireland. And uh, Finley the Fox uh, looks very detailed. 
And uh, again, like I had mentioned with Ozzy, um, these are probably two of uh, the Pop Around the World's lineup um, pops that I do like. The reason why I put Finley at number 7 for the month of March, um, obviously, I just find that's a good spot for it. And the pops that are higher on the list for March, again, have better detail or more personal reaction or more hype to it than Finley. And now let's move on to number 7 for the month of April, and that is the Pop in a Box exclusive Carla Unger as Carnage. Again, a pop that is very detailed in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of you think that it is also very detailed. Um, it makes sense to have this in my top 10 list. I mean, um, I do like some of the variants of like Carnage and Venom and some of the Spider-Man pops uh, that look really great. Um, this one just had to make it into my list. And uh, we are now going to move on to number six. Now moving on to number six, we will start again with February. And it is the Toronto Blue Jays player, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One of my favorite Blue Jays players currently and I think pretty much one of my favorites of all time. He is a heavy slugger, heavy hitter, a uh, great player overall, and this is a great pop. And I do have this on pre-order right now at my EB Games. However, due to the fact that EB Games and some GameStops are closed due to this COVID-19 pandemic, I'm not able to pick up my Vlad Guerrero Jr. pop, so I haven't been able to add this to my collection. But once everything opens up, I will be happy to head over to my local EB Games and pick this one up. Uh, very detailed and um, definitely has a lot of hype and personal reaction to this. That's why I made it into my number six spot for the month of February. Now for my number six for the month of March and it is Johnny Rose from the series Shit's Creek. Um, again, played by Eugene Levy. Uh, great looking pop. And this definitely looks like the actor. Um, Funko definitely nailed it 100%. Very detailed. And um, don't know if I'm going to be adding this to my collection. Um, but there might be a slight chance. And finally, moving on to my number 6 for the month of April. It is the Hot Topic exclusive first appearance metallic Spider-Man. Again, Spider-Man happens to be one of my favorite uh, heroes and one of my favorite movies even. Um, so there's not a chance that this would not have made it into my top 10 list. And uh, the fact that it's number six definitely shows that it definitely has a lot of detail and a lot of hype and personal reaction in my opinion. So that's why it made it into my top 10 list for April. We are now onto the top five Funko Pops for February, March, and April. Kicking off with the month of February, I have listed at number 5 is the Voldemort vs. Harry movie moments, the New York Toy Fair reveal. Um, amazing, very detailed, I love this pop and if I had the chance I would definitely pick this pop up. Um, honestly, it definitely features one of the most iconic moments in the movie and there's no reason why it should not have been in my top 10 list. Now moving on to March, number five, it is the WonderCon slash Funko Shop exclusive Cheshire Cat at the Mad Tea Party, Pop Rides. Um, honestly, I feel like this is a very great pop and I know that it goes along with the whole Alice at the Mad Tea Party uh, Pop Rides. So basically Cheshire Cat, a uh, very detailed character in the movie. Um, probably one of my favorites, if I had to say, and I don't think I'll be picking this pop up, but it is a very good pop, and that's why I made it into my top 10 list for the month of March. And finally, for the month of April, number 5 is the Entertainment Earth exclusive Wood Deco Groot. Um, 
I like Groot. Who doesn't like Groot? I mean, I am Groot. Uh, very detailed pop in my opinion, and it doesn't make sense for this one to be a wood deco uh, variant of Groot because Groot is basically a tree, um, and he's you know made of wood, so it kind of makes sense for this pop to be a wood deco variant of Groot. Um, lots of hype. Uh, very high in the personal reactions and very detailed. Alright, kicking off at number 4 for the month of February, and it is the Common Mewtwo. Uh, this was announced with the one of the newest uh, waves of Pokemon Pop. I do have Mewtwo on pre-order at EV Games, but like I mentioned with the Vlad Guerrero Jr. Pop, due to the whole COVID-19 pandemic, I'm not able to pick this one up yet. So, once stores open up again, I will be very happy to add this one to my collection. It has a lot of hype. It is very detailed and it has a high rating on the personal reaction detail of this pop. So that is why it made it higher than the Voldemort vs. Harry movie moments. Um, I mean, I feel like either or could have made it um, higher on the list. But, um, huge fan of the Pokemon series and one of my favorite Pokemon overall. Moving on to my number four for the month of March, and it is the WonderCon slash Hot Topic exclusive Flocked Eevee. So yes, another Pokemon at number four. Um, I do like Eevee, and I do like the evolutions or evolutions, whatever you want to call it, Eevee evolutions even. Um, honestly, this makes sense to be Flocked, and uh, very detailed in my opinion. Um, definitely has that high rating on the personal reaction level, and um, there was some good hype to this pop, so that's why it made it at number four for the month of March. And finally, moving on to number four for the month of April, it is the GameStop slash EB Games exclusive Angela with Sprinkles from The Office. Uh, this is a great series, definitely. I recommend you watch it if you haven't already, or if you want to go watch it again even, go ahead. It's on Netflix. Um, honestly, it took me a while to finish the series, but um, honestly, I feel like this is a pretty great detailed pop, especially of Angela. We're getting characters other than, you know, Jim and Michael and Dwight. Um, had to make it in at number four on the month of April, only because the pops that are higher on the list are probably a bit more detailed in my opinion, or have, you know, a higher hype level or even personal reaction. Now coming in at number three for the month of February, and it is the Freddy Funko with Funko HQ Pop Towns. This was a part of the Emerald City Comic Con reveals back in February. This is a very great looking pop and I have seen obviously photos of it and I think that Funko definitely nailed this one, knocked it out of the park. Um, didn't think that this one would have been one of the pop towns that were going to be made but again amazing and I think that a lot of fanatics were very happy with this one. Um, if I had the chance to pick this one up, I would have, but obviously n not the case. Moving on to my number three for the month of March, it is the 1 in 6 Chase variant of David Rose from Schitt's Creek. Honestly, I think that this one was a bit more detailed than the common variant of David Rose. I mean, I do like both of them, but I feel like this one had to make it into my top 10 list. And finally, my number three for the month of April, it is the Target exclusive flocked Sylvester and Tweety Bird from the Pop and Tea bundle. Um, Honestly, this is basically a two-for-one, and it is amazing, very detailed, and it makes sense for Sylvester to be flocked. So, uh, again, pretty detailed, lots of hype, and a very high rating on the personal reaction side of things. 
We're finally moving on to number two for the month of February, and this was a part of the Emerald City Comic Con reveals, and it is Dwight as Recyclops. Again, another iconic character of Dwight from The Office. Um, very funny, I remember this episode very well, and honestly, I think that this has a lot of hype to it, a lot of personal reaction in my opinion. Very detailed, like I mentioned with most of the pops, if not all of the pops, in my list. But, um, I think that there's one pop for the month of February that was basically higher in all three of the categories, basically of personal reaction, hype, and detail. And I will talk about that in a moment. But moving on to my number two for the month of March, it is the WonderCon slash FYE exclusive flock Pichu. Now... If you guys have listened to a Funko Popcast, I was on and listed off my top 10 for the month of March. I know that this is not the normal number 2 that I had, I believe it was the 10 inch Captain Crunch. But I have made basically an update and of course Pichu uh, makes sense to be flocked and if I had the chance to get this I would. Um, I might see if I can try and find it somewhere and order it but uh, you never know. Um, again, very detailed, has lots of hype, and personal reaction, definitely a high rating. And moving on to number two for the month of April, it is the Funimation exclusive 10-inch metallic Shenron from the series of Dragon Ball. Uh, great looking pop, very detailed, lots of hype towards it, and um, obviously this had to be one of the pops that made it into my top 10 list and at a very high spot. Uh, due to the various amounts of detail. So, Shenron at number two for the month of April. Now, let's find out what is number one for February, March, and April. We will now end this top 10 video with listing off the number one pop for the months of February, March, and April, in my opinion. So, starting with February. It was announced as a part of the Emerald City Comic Con uh, pops that were announced. And it is from the TV series The Simpsons. It is Millhouse. Now, again, this pop, very detailed. Uh, the most detailed, in my opinion, um, out of all the pops for the month of February. You have Millhouse basically with an ice cream cone, and the ice cream uh, fell off of the cone and onto his shoe. So he's very disappointed. You could tell in the kind of reaction of his face that he is disappointed about it. Um, I think that, you know, Funko fanatics are very happy with this pop, and that's why I made it into my number one spot. It is very detailed, has a high, very, uh, sorry, high amount of detail and a lot of hype towards it, so that's why it's number one. Moving on to my number one pop for the month of March, it is the Hot Topic exclusive glow-in-the-dark Venomized Groot. And, again, very detailed, lots of hype towards it, and personal reaction, very high as well. Um, if I had the chance to get this pop, I might add this to my collection if I can find it, but this was a part of the pop and tea combo, I'm pretty sure. So, um, I know there's Funko shirts that probably won't fit me, so this might not be one of the ones that I do add to my collection. However... I do like it, so that's why it's number one, because of the high detail, the high amount of hype towards it, and the very high personal reaction rating, in my opinion. And now, finally, on to my number one for the month of April. It was the Funko Shop exclusive uh, Johnny Bravo. And this was announced, obviously, with Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, but I had to put Johnny Bravo, obviously, because I've watched Johnny Bravo more. I do like Johnny Bravo. Uh, I was very hyped when this was announced because this is one of the most anticipated and most talked about pop for a while. Um, basically, there was lots of rumors behind this, and Funko finally announced it, and I was very, very pumped about it when it got announced. So, with the very detailed amount that it has as a pop, as well as the hype 
behind it and the high of the very highest ratings of personal reaction Johnny Bravo made it at number one for the month of April but anyways that seems to be the end of this video if you like this video make sure to smash that like button comment in the comment section below on what your top 10 Funko Pops were for the month of February March and even April let me know did you like Johnny Bravo was there a lot of hype for Johnny Bravo in your opinion um, did you like my lists? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, as well as the little bell beside it to be notified on when future content like this video gets released. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on my next video, which will be a Ultra Applesauce Pick 3 Challenge that I was nominated from my buddy Dylan from the Funko Podcast. So that'll be my next video. Make sure to tune in for that and I will see you guys next time. And just remember to keep on popping.